What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Still out here at the Wilmington Skate Park. I'm trying to get video in before these guys get back to work up on the bridge. Sounds like a damn war zone when they're up there jackhammering. But I have a product review that I want to share with you guys. I spent my own hard-earned money on this, so I know that these are really good. I've been running them now for about a year and a half. Matt just purchased a pair and I have a new pair right here. These are the Space Brace Quick Lace Ankle Protection. These things are absolutely amazing. We're gonna to talk to you guys a little bit more on why they're worth the money. And since it's a BMX owned brand, I feel like there's nothing else better to do than to support a brand owned by a bike rider, especially one of the best bike riders in the world, Mike Gray, absolutely insane. So let's unbox these. Let me show you what they're all about. I wanna get Matt's point of view. He's been running them now for a few days. I've been running them a little bit longer, so I have a lot more wear and tear on mine, so you can actually see the difference between mine I've been running for a year and these bad boys. All right, so these come in either a set of two or you can buy a single one. I bought the set of two. I want to say they're like $80, $82 shipped from Canada. You can get them at different mail orders such as Albies. That's where you got yours, right, Matt? Yeah. Albies. Albies, what was the price difference on yours? I think shipped with $94. $94. So it may sound expensive, but if you think about it, how much abuse your ankles take with impact if you do tail whips or crank flips. Honestly, when I run pads and then I don't run them, <laughs> I don't realize how often I actually hit myself on the knees and shins and you know puts a toll on your body. So these bad boys, they I used to run the McDavid's too. So McDavid makes a set of like lace up ankle protections. I would say it's more geared towards like boxing or lifting weights. Um, these are awesome. Check this out. So you have the protection of when you open them up like this, really durable Velcro. And they have these these little sleeves that you can slide in there. This will protect from any tail whips that come around. Any type of crank bite that you would get from your crank swinging around on a crank flip or a tail whip, um, really good protection there. They have this cross pattern when you're putting these things on. And like I said, this Velcro is really strong. Let me open these up for you. You have the cross pattern and it's lace up just like the McDavid's were, except you don't have to lace them up ever again because the laces have their own Velcro themselves. So they fasten across and go on just like that. I have them on right now. See if you can kind of see them underneath my shin pads. Uh, I've run these ankles, triple eight shins, triple eight knee pads, head to toe. And it's, honestly, it's a lifesaver in any scenario. Um, a helmet I highly recommend. So that's all choice, but uh, you kind of pay for it in the long run if you end up hitting your head too many times without a helmet throughout the years. So they do have a really good warranty service. I did have an issue with lace popping out and I actually sent them a picture of it and they were nice enough to send me a second pair for free even though I only had a problem with one of them. So they're absolutely amazing worth their warranty service. Um, since I've been running them for about a year, I do have to say that the wear and tear on mine is next to none. As you can hear it's about to become like a crazy war zone. Now, I know that was a quick rundown of these Space Brace ankle protection pads. So let's get some clips right now and we'll probably dump some music over it because I don't want you guys to think we're in a war zone right now. Hear you, Matt. Can you hear me? Yeah. Man. Fine. All right. So, like I said earlier, I ride for Triple Eight, so I've run their Triple Eight shin pads. Helped engineer these as well. These have the protection in the front and the sides, which is absolutely awesome. And these are the space braces I've been running for a while. Um, so they, you can have that added flexibility. I'm still able to move my feet around as I would if I wasn't wearing them, but they have that added protection on the side and any twisting from the side. Um, the only wear and tear as you can kind of see there is maybe a little bit of fuzzy coming there because I actually always end up tightening that as tight as I can possibly get it. And I open that, there's that cross pattern and there's that lace I was talking about. That was the only issue I had with this. So when I take this one off and I take this one off, this was attached to here but through the loop, which I probably could reattach at myself and have no issue. So when you're lacing them up, pull it over, cross, pull it over, cross it around, Pull this, cross it up to the ankle, this one around, cross it up to the ankle, and wrap it around. One of the cool things about Space Brace is they actually just started offering multiple colors of this last piece of brace right here. I think it's white. Did you get the white ones? No. Yeah, Matt, Matt's mad. He didn't get the white ones. I thought you got the white one. This piece comes in white too, so you could take this off and replace it 
and make it white. They should come out more colors in the future. So Mike, if you see this video, I think like red and blue, maybe even that speckle that you do with your socks and shirts would look really cool with that, like that space look. So this is a rundown of the Space Brace braces. And uh, honestly, seriously, the best money I've spent at all on my protection. It's the only thing I've bought um, because I ride for AAA. I've been doing it for a number of years. Their products are absolutely amazing as well. I literally only replace them if I have a really bad fall, like if the shin pad gets ripped open or uh, anything happens with the Velcro, which you know, wear and tear is natural with any product out there. I mean, you guys know with shoes or anything like that. Speaking of shoes, I have a shoe video coming out shortly after this you do not want to miss, especially you mid-school guys. So let's get some riding clips and ride with these bad boys. All right, so I did this clip for Instagram. It's like a joke. I don't know how it's gonna work now. That piece is broken down there. Like when it lands, it's gonna tip. Nah, you're fine. I'm okay. an engineer. The goal will be to feeble, and then it's gonna be a teeter totter. So feeble, and then it's gonna drop down. Hopefully, I execute. Just right. be, be prepared for it to roll just in case, but I think you'll be fine. Well, let's test it first. All right, we test things on the channel. I'm not trying to die. I still got to edit these videos for you guys. Oh, dude, you're good. All right, so overall, the space brace, absolutely worth it. Um, like I said, I don't do many crank flips. That's like one of the first crank flips I've done in months. It was a half cap crank flip. As you notice, I am, as they would say, goofy footed when it comes to crank flips. I did learn them right foot forward when I was younger, and then for whatever reason, I ran pegs on the opposite side, the left side, that is, and did crank flips for a number of years. I just, I feel good doing crank flips left foot forward. So, pretty stoked on that. They saw the impact test with the whip tap. That is pretty aggressive as far as tail whips. Now, you can get more aggressive with like double whips and triple whips, and that side impact of that crank arm coming in and hitting the inside of your leg can hurt pretty bad. So these definitely come in handy for that. So if you're in a market for these bad boys, definitely an okay uh, purchase in my book. Like I said, they cost about $80, but uh, well worth it. So if you guys are looking for these, link in the description below will take them there. And Mike, if you see this video, uh, yeah, you should make more colors of those straps. So with that being said, if you guys have any suggestions, future videos, Put them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you next one.